So we are here to see how a model of hand works. We have some materials here. We have ice cream sticks. We have drawing pins. We have some mat sticks. A few rubber bands and fevicol to stick for making hands. So now let's take a couple of ice cream sticks. So we have two sticks here. What we are going to do is we are going to take a one stick and we will fix five matchsticks which will represent fingers. So we have made a very simple model of a hand. We have affixed the matchsticks and I have also put some cello tape on that so that it will be fixed. So we will use this as the forearm and we are going to affix this another stick. So this is our forearm and this is our upper arm. We will fix these using these drawing clips. So we will be using these drawing clips to affix those. We are going to affix it like this. We will have some part of the arm extending beyond the red stick. So we will try to affix this using one of these pins. So let's press it. There. So we have a working model of a arm. Now what I am going to do is, I will affix one pin here on the top like this I'll have one more pin at the end like this and I'll have one last pin somewhere around here like this so there I have a moving hand and I have three pins. Now let's see what do we do with these three pins. I'll take a rubber band. I need a rubber band which will basically tie from this pin up to So this is going to pull it. I have one muscle fixed. Now I'm going to take another rubber band. I'll have another rubber band and I'll affix it here. But now I'm going to fix it onto this. So now we have a working model of a hand. Now you can see if I pull this this side. If I pull the arm this side, this muscle is contracting and this muscle is expanding. The reverse happens when we take it on the other side. This muscle is contracting and this muscle is expanding. So you can see how the arm works.